Hey guys, welcome to our 15 days intense core and yoga workout program. Click the link below for the full schedule. Welcome to my flexibility class. This class is designed to help you gain flexibility, obviously, and it's going to help you warm up your muscles as well as to help cool you down. So please do not skip this class. All right, let's go ahead and get started with your two blocks. Okay, depending how open your shoulders and your back feels today, play around with the different height of the block. I'm going to use the, um, the medium height. Okay, come into child's pose, knees wide apart, big toes to touch. Keep your palms on top of the blocks and start to walk your hands forward, hinging from your hips. Once your arms are straight, drop your chest and drop your shoulders down. So you're going to feel that nice deep stretch into the shoulders, finding that nice thoracic extension. Take a deep inhale through your nose and a deep exhale. Good. You could always deepen the stretch by making the blocks higher. Maybe it's too much for you. Go ahead and bring the blocks lower. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Keep the blocks underneath your hands and walk your hands over to your left, adding a nice side body stretch. Keep your hips grounded towards your heels. Keep your shoulders square. Chest stays slightly lifted, so my forehead is off the floor. Keep your arms straight. Reach a little bit further with your right hand. Inhale. And exhale, come back to center. Same thing on the other side. Walk your hands over to your right. Chest falls slightly over your right thigh. Again, shoulders squared. Ground down through your left sit bone. Reach a little further with your left hand. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Come back to center. Go ahead and release the blocks to the side. Inhale, rise up to tabletop position. Right away, let's take wrist stretches. So either one or two hands at a time. Flip your fingers to point back. Then round your upper back and start to rock forward and back. So in my program, we were on our hands a lot of the times. So it's really important to counterbalance the stretches. Stretching out the wrists as well as the forearms here. You can make some circles. Make sure to do both hands, so switch if you haven't already. Feel free to take some cat and cow poses here. One more breath. Good. Bring your knees together. Come all the way down on top of your heels and just go ahead and shake it out. Shake out your wrists, shake out your hands. Plant your hands in front of you. Let's come up to a standing forward fold. Walk towards the top of your mat. Feet either hip width or outer hip width distance apart. Hinge from your hips, drop your torso over your thighs and relax your head. Start to shift your weight forward and back. Feel free to bend your knees even more. Maybe straighten your knees and bend, get deep into your calves and hamstrings. This is one of my favorite stretches. Really, really good for the entire body. Releasing any tension through your lower back. And feel free to add a nice shoulder stretch with this. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Lift your hands away from your lower back, up towards the ceiling, maybe over your head. Then again, you could either find a static hold. I like to create some dynamic movements here. Kind of just rocking my hips side to side, leaning forward and back. Make sure your head is completely relaxed here. Good. One more breath. On your exhale, release your hands to the floor. Point your toes out, heels in. Drop down to malasana, frog pose. Option to sit on a block. 
Either keep your hands on the floor or hands to heart. Sit up nice and tall. Open your chest. Press your knees open. Feel free to stay here. Otherwise, find a nice thoracic twist. Drop your left hand. Reach your right arm up and over. Find that nice rotation opening up through that right shoulder. Release the right hand out towards the right. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Twist over to the left. Gaze is up. Good. Come back to frog pose. Inhale, sit up tall. Open your hips. And exhale, plant your hands and lower down onto your sit bones. Let's come into half pigeon pose. Right shin bone in front of you. Swing your left leg back. Make sure your left leg is completely straight. Point your right knee out towards the right. Flex your right foot. Feel free to bend your right knee as deep as you need. You could grab a block to place underneath your right glute. Option one, stay here. Option two, drop down to your forearms, hinging from your hips. Or option three, lower all the way down, forehead down. Make sure to breathe into that right hip. Feeling that deep stretch into your right glute, your left hip flexor. Two more breaths here. Good. Replant your hands. Bend your left knee. With your left hand, grab your left foot. If it's not easily reachable for you. You could grab your strap, but we won't be here for too long. So just keep that left knee bent. Inhale and then exhale, slowly release. Good. Let's go ahead and lean over to the right. Swing your left leg forward. Come into half pigeon pose on the other side. Really important in your half pigeon pose, make sure your frontal hip bones are facing the front rather than leaning over to the left. So again, you might need to place a block underneath your left glute. Once you're ready, find your variation. Either chest stays lifted or drop your chest all the way down. Feel free to close your eyes here. Refocus on your breathing, slowing it down. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Come back onto your hands. Bend your right knee. Grab your right foot. Take a nice quad stretch, deepening the stretch into your right hip flexor. Release your right foot. Swing your right leg forward. Good. Come into a seated position with straight legs. Scoot your sit bones back. Keep your big toes to touch. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, hinge from your hips. Fold over your thighs. Walk your hands forward. Option to bend your knees. Inhale, lift your chest. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge forward as much as you can. Breathing here. Again, I kind of like to sway my hip side to side. The more you pull your sternum forward, the more hamstring stretch you'll feel. Inhale, slowly rise. Bring the soles of your feet to touch, knees out wide. Inhale, sit up tall. And exhale, hinge from your hips, getting more into your inner thighs, your outer hips. Walk your hands forward. Same action, always hinging from your hips when you fold. Maybe pull your sternum forward even more. Good. Inhale, slowly rise. Restraighten at your left leg. Cross your right foot over left. And take a nice seated twist over to the right. Hook your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Draw your navel in. Reach your chest up. Then keep peeling your right shoulder back. Good. Come back to center. Same thing on the other side. Cross your left foot over your right thigh. Right elbow. On top of the left thigh. Twist over to the left. Good. Come back to center. 
Go ahead and cross your legs, plant your hands in front of you. Come all the way down onto your belly. So we did a lot of core as this is a core challenge. Really important to find the counterbalance stretching the front side of your body. So option one, feel free to come into baby cobra. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders, pull your shoulders back, reach your chest forward. Option two, come into sphinx pose, elbows underneath your shoulders, parallel your forearms, lift your chest. Option three, seal pose, straighten your arms. Option to walk your hands back a little bit more. Just make sure you don't feel any tension in your lower back. So really focusing on opening up through your abdominals, stretching into the front side of your body. Inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower down. Replant your hands. Inhale, rise up to tabletop position. All right, friends, that is it for our flexibility class. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys at the next class.